Today, we're here on Lake Union to show you the 2023 Beneteau Swift Trawler 41. Per K, no. This incredible boat is a unique offering as it comes with a full manufacturer's warranty, an extended engine warranty, a tender, dishes, bedding, everything down to even additional shore power cords. And incredibly, we have prime location moorage, which is transferable and included until April 2025. I'm excited to get stuck in today's tour. This Swift 41 has got to be one of my favorite boats in the entire Beneteau lineup, which is a big deal because Beneteau are the biggest builder of boats in the world and for good reason. Let's go get stuck in and check her out. So we're down here on the dock. The boat is literally in brand new shape. The only difference between this boat and a new boat is this has all the options down to cutlery and bedding, things you don't get on a new boat. And this upgraded tender with the Hyder Davit. Nice thing about the Hyder Davit, opposed to most other Davits out there, is Hyder Davit have stainless steel uh, at the waterline where most other davits have powder coated aluminum so they'll eventually corrode away with the stainless steel um, it's all a lot better quality it's not going to corrode so really good work there by Hyder Davit and we've got the 10 foot AB Piper 1 rib with the upgraded Tahatsu 30 horse outboard engine Center console, console, which is nice. Very comfortable boat. So this boat's uh, asymmetric. So you've got a little bit tighter walkway down the port side and then huge walkway in the starboard. We'll see that in a second. Uh, this center chair here rolls forward and aft. Right now we've got it in the aft position and they're still, even in the aft position, They've made it so you can still walk down very, very comfortably. Just here on the swim platform, a huge teak and stainless steel swim ladder that folds out. Large doors that open up both sides to get into the cockpit. A couple of cup holders here. And this is an incredibly expensive table. Uh, solid teak that has its own dedicated storage. Good seating back here as well. And there are a couple additional fold-out chairs which can go around here. Right now they're up on the flybridge. I'm just going to convert this back so you can see what it looks like without the table. So here is the dedicated storage area. The table just slides straight in. There's actually padding on the sides as well. Nice and easy. Conveniently located to exactly where it's meant to go. So you're not dragging it too far as well. And then this big lounge chair moves forward. And now we're actually underneath the cover as well. So if it's raining, you can get some shelter there too. Still an incredible amount of space in this cockpit area, even with the seating forward. We've got an even larger walkway aft there as well. Really good storage underneath this, this seating area as well. And there is a gas storage locker in, uh, under there. I love this pop-up bar area. Just center line galley here. Really opens the space up. So when you're cooking, you're not buried down below. Um, you're right in the middle. You can easily distribute food or converse with people up in the forward lounge area or on the aft deck or at the helm. And I've just really made for entertaining. Just here, got a trash receptacle. And then to pull it out, instead of dragging it through the boat, it just pops out 
here. And they've got a little storage area there for trash bags, that sort of thing. As we jump into the galley, the boat comes with everything. I mean, half of this is all brand new. Um, this is for the grill up top. Um, we've got pots and pans, which fit in there neatly. Nice glassware. And this is all um, non-shatterproof, so it's not gonna break. All these plates, same thing. Chopping boards. Here, it's got some additional storage, and then all the cutlery and everything. It's all like brand new. A little uh, spice rack here, and an additional drawer underneath. It's really good storage throughout. Additional storage cupboard there on top. And uh, something you don't see on boats this size, even the Swift Trawler 50 that Beneteau have doesn't have this feature, is the full standing refrigerator and freezer. So it is pretty rare to see. I really do like that. Uh, and we also have good storage here with an ice maker. And a little hidden drawer up top, just for keys, remotes, that sort of thing. And uh, another good storage here. In here, we even have storage in the deck. I love this U-shaped seating area. Most boats, seen, you know, some of the Rivieras or Tiaras, that sort of thing, they'll just have a bench seat. Um, but having this U-shaped seating area like this really brings everyone together, makes it great for entertaining. And you'll see, we'll flip to it in a sec here, you've also got the um, helm chair here which spins around and the table that opens up. So then you have a full square uh, seating area. And when it's set up like that, if you've got someone that wanted to come from the cabin through, you're not gonna disturb anyone at the table because you can still go through the outside there and go around. So they've, they've really thought about everything, made it as easy as possible. Here at the helm, this has the upgraded Yanmai engines. And these are incredible compared to the Volvo. The transmissions are incredibly smooth. Um, incredibly smooth and the engines are actually a little bit quieter than the previous model um, which had Volvos in it. So this has the 320 Yanmars and the previous model had the 300 Volvos and uh, yeah it makes a huge huge difference. And you can see here uh, I've got the rear facing camera, I've also got a forward facing camera, charts, depth sounder, radar, uh, this one actually has upgraded uh, AIS uh, transceiver. So uh, most of the boats this size only have a receiver, not a transceiver. So they've got the top tier AIS there. So easy to dock, balanced and thrusted by uh, side power there. And we've got a VHF radio, the Raymarine. And this is that side deck, huge space. And notice we're, we're undercover here as well, all the way. So when it's raining and you're trying to do lines, you're not getting saturated. Um, also, when you pull up to the dock on the starboard side, you've got this side door here. So most other boats, you're running down to the aft or you're jumping over a rail, about to break a leg or something like that. With, with the Swift, they make it so easy. In most docks, this is actually level. So there's no jumping. It's a very easy, cool, calm, and collected when you pull into the dock on this thing. And they even put a cleat right next to it so you can just tie the boat up with that midship cleat and you're not going anywhere. That way you can take your time with the bow and stern line, which is really neat. Up here on the bow, got the upgraded sunbed with the chair and build and that flattens out and uh, got the anchor lockers up here uh, this one actually has upgraded chains so 
it uh, they took out all the road there's no road at all it's just 100% um, chain we've got 300 foot of chain there I believe the boat normally comes to 200 feet of chain and road uh, and they upgraded to full chain 300 foot so makes a huge difference especially in deep anchorages you, you really do need it Let's head on down to the accommodation. So first you've got this, to start it here, you've got this storage cabin, which doubles up as a guest overflow. I call it, call it the whale cabin. You've got the little whale there. And this is the filler cushion for the berth in the salon area, the table that folds down into a berth. And we've got the splendid washer dryer. Good storage cabins here. Additional bedding. And second cabin here is the twin. With two single berths. And then there's a filler cushion in there. It just slides in nice and neat. And that becomes a queen as well. Life jackets. And this is the guest head. It's a wet head. Good storage behind the, the uh, mirror and underneath as well. And just forward we have the master. Good walk around either side. Good closet storage either side as well. And we have a skylight up top. And this is incredible. Even on the, uh, it's a similar size shower to the Swift 50 or even the 62. It's a huge, huge space. And nice teak seat and flooring. And separated, we have a head. TV up on the bulkhead there and we also have another TV I'll show you it's kind of hidden away up here just here on the bulkhead let's head on up to the fire bridge so this space up here is incredible huge fire bridge Great entertaining up there. We've got this blank kind of canvas back here. We've got some chairs. You can add additional chairs. You can add storage. I've seen all sorts of stuff, inflatables, toys. Um, it is kind of a blank canvas back here, but it is really nice to have. And we've got a little propane grill station here with the upgraded magma bolt-on grill. And the top of the, the Kenyan grill is down below. It's brand new, never used. And we've got a sink here, additional refrigerator and freezer by Isotherm, and a little pull-out trash can down here. Good cup holders throughout. So when you're underway, you kind of set up a little bit like this. You can slide this table fore and aft. So right now it's in the aft location. Uh, these seating backs here go fore and aft as well. Right now they're in the aft position so you can keep the captain company, both the port and the starboard. Got this dual screen, upgraded 12 inch dis Raymarine displays. And the field of view is incredible. Even got lighting in the bimini top. And then when you're not driving the boat and entertaining, we'll switch this up and you can see what it looks like. Here it is here. Got the table that's slid forward now. Easy to get around. Backrest is pushed forward. Uh, helm chair is around. And then you've also got this backrest pushed forward so you can use that as a lounger as well. 
fantastic entertaining space, that's for sure. Let's head on down to the Lazarette. So down here on the aft deck, we have this huge Lazarette hatch. Bolted to the Lazarette hatch is a little handle. And what that handle is, it actually clips off and goes into here, and it's an emergency bilge pump. And you can also see below the emergency bilge pump, we've got the Class B offshore rating. So rated for eight passengers offshore, and inland we're looking at 10. And got some, uh, a surfboard holder by Magma. Extra fender, wash down gear by Showhold. It comes with all the goodies here. Even got a little hose in there as well. Additional water hose there. Really easy to get around. Even with all this gear in here. Got your sea strainer there for the generator. Very easy to access. And here's the, the Picuro. 8500 generator very very quiet we jump in and have a look at the engine room i just wanted to know a lot of people haven't heard of Pugura before uh, it is actually just a marinized cola generator you can actually see i'll show you down here you can see cola right there so it's actually a marinized cola generator and the difference between uh, the Puguro and a Santa Cola is they try and just make these a little quieter and a little more efficient. So uh, I actually love these generators and as far as parts and that sort of thing, actually pretty easy because it all just comes from uh, Kohler other than a couple of little parts. But um, so it is pretty easy and you can see this thing looks like it just came off the factory floor. Incredible shape, less than 50 hours on the generator. Let's jump in and have a look at the engines. So just here in the galley, we've got this soundproof hatch. Just pops up, nice little stairwell here. And we've got the twin 320 Yanmars. It's the 8LV 320 model. Very easy to get around. Got dipsticks in the middle there. Super easy for servicing and that sort of thing. The deck plates do come up for big servicing but just to do the, your regular things it's it is nice and and easy got the dripless shaft seals you can see here through hulls as well they don't bury them they make them easy because they want you to exercise them and got the um, fuel filters there sea strainers up top Thanks for coming on the tour today of the Beneteau Swift Troller 41 per K No here in Seattle, Washington. For more information for an in-person tour, feel free to reach out to me, Arisha, anytime on 772-240-0888 or via email at ari at denisonyachting.com. See you on the water.